If you live anywhere near the I-4 Ultimate Construction Project, you've probably heard these sounds. It's the sound of pile driving. But what is pile driving for? And is it going to damage nearby property? Concrete, steel, and sheet piles are an essential part of the underground structures needed to create the foundations that support the new road, bridges, and ramps that will become I-4 Ultimate. About 7,000 piles will be driven into the soil along the 21-mile project. There are two types of pile driving, vibratory and impact hammer pile driving. Vibratory pile driving is used when the soil is soft and loose. As the pile vibrates, it gradually pushes the soil down. The vibration made by vibratory pile driving is high frequency and low energy. It's kind of like hitting a boxer's speed bag. If you're hitting it really fast, the impact is relatively low. Impact hammer pile driving, on the other hand, is more like hitting a punching bag like this. High impact and low energy vibrations are emitted from this type of impact. Hammer pile driving is used to make sure the pile is seated in dense soil. All along the I-4 Ultimate Corridor, engineers carefully monitor the levels of vibration in order to mitigate disturbances and to make sure the piles are placed accurately. Of course, you're going to hear it and feel it, but rest assured, we are monitoring to reduce the risk of any structural damage. As an example, it was necessary to drive piles less than 25 feet from this historic property on Colonial Drive at Garland Avenue. During the entire process, no structural damage occurred. And don't worry about the sounds of pile driving keeping you up at night. As part of the construction contract, pile driving is only permitted between the hours of 7 a.m. and 10 p.m. in residential areas. To find out more about pile driving and the entire I-4 Ultimate project, log on to i4ultimate.com. <laughs>